Hello, uh, Darkside here. Just going to record a Brig and King fight I did against Admiral Phineas. Uh, it was a decent enough fight, and I'll just tell you uh, some of my thought processes going through it. Phineas is the easiest Brig and King, so I usually like to uh, have my first pillage against him because I just uh, warm up. Uh, I'm just recording. Uh, I like to fight Brigand Kings where there's little wind. Luckily I started in one of those areas. One of those reasons is it eliminates quite a lot of the random element. allows you to keep track. I was just making sure it was recording there. Allowing you to more easily figure out where they're going to go. I prefer Brigand Kings to anything else because they don't run out of moves and do four moves every time. And just really eliminates a lot of the random element where you think they're gonna move like two or three times and instead they just move once. But anyway, it's an alright board. Like I said, I started in a nice open way. I'm just moving. I always f try to plan out to hit them on move four or three or three and then move away on four. I don't try and do many high damage attacks at the start about halfway through it becomes worth it. A lot of this is just being safe. It doesn't matter how long the fight goes on for as long as... Sorry, I just had to go and do something real quick. Yeah, it doesn't matter how long the fight goes on for as long as you max them in the end. People are relatively patient. I was unsure he was not moving the right amount and I didn't know what to do. I usually when that happens, flick around my moves. Uh, if you're moving, if you're just shooting on one and they're only moving two, then if you just uh, remove the shot, change the shot to a grapple and then back to a shot, he should move. They always change their moves quite often, being able to go to four. And I just like that. I believe. Uh, Yeah, I should have moved left, forward, left, shoot. It would be safer, but it doesn't matter. Because it still happened. Although, um, yeah, I get shot on the next one. If I move forward, I probably... I don't know, they're quite weird sometimes. I suspect if I move forward, it wouldn't have moved there. But also, I bet it would have just turned left and grappled. Because... I don't know. Uh, they're quite predictable. I was actually surprised I got shot here. Like there. I felt sure that he would grapple. But... Um, I find they're more often grappled towards the uh, second half of the fight. After like eight turns or something like that. They grapple more often. I'm just trying to set up positions. Uh, I'm not shooting, but I'm just hoping they'll uh, they'll just move into a better spot for me to set up a move. Because this can move all over the place, like it can move left. But, uh, yeah, I find uh, I've got a team of good sword fighters on with me as well, so that was all right. I didn't do it too elitist, but they applied, so I hired them. Yeah, just talking about um, future ones. Oh yeah, this move. I originally planned for him to go forward left. Uh, so I'd shoot him once and then escape. But right towards the end I noticed left, right, grapple. And it's 1-1 one, one right now. So I really didn't want that grapple to happen. So, I moved it last second, just wasted shot, but it's all good. 
Shot's only like 18 po. Each. Because I'm pretty sure no one makes a profit. I used to run an IM stall. They, they don't make a profit. Uh, my belief here is a left left. And then left right. So I planned for that. It's also a safe move because there's no way that he could hit me from there in four moves. But he only moved two, which was annoying. I've moved into the wind. A bit of wind's alright, but I still prefer nothing. Alright, what's my plan? What do I move? Forward, left. Okay, yeah, I think in left, left. Right forward. Also a safe move, very hard to hit me from those places. Didn't move there, but uh, I'm in a relatively decent position anyway. What do I do? What do I do? Yeah, I'm thinking left, right, left, right, left, right. So I just move. See, he's moving four, so I do that. I also move right, so if he does move right, left, right, forward, that would have been, then uh, it's easier for me to get out, and I get the shot off. Yeah, um, this is just a little trick. Uh, they often expect you to move more, so uh, as long as you don't do it every time, uh, shooting on that second turn there is quite safe. You just have to um, practice, they get quite predictable in the end. Like I said, it was safe, I didn't get the hit, but I could live, I did get that one. This I felt really dangerous at. Usually I'd just turn left there, but that would take me into rocks. Uh, this was actually the best move in the end, but I changed it to uh, not moving on the second turn because it seemed safer at the time. Like so. I'll leave that there. I end up not hitting him at all. But, uh, I can live. Because the left, right, I would have got him there. And then I would have been there, which was also a pretty safe place, because I just go left, right. And then I'd probably go left. Would have been pretty safe. And after that, it depends where he was. I'm just moving, I'm thinking right, left, right, and then I'd shoot him a couple of times. It's getting towards the end, so um, I'm alright, maybe getting the other grapple. If I shoot him a couple more times, that would have been a 1 to 5, which is uh, entirely, entirely doable. Like I said, Phineas is the easiest. They're all about the same in the battle nav. Uh, Uh, it's just a sword fight at the end. Sword fight or rumble. Azerbad is, I think, the hardest uh, because so many of his people use sabers and uh, because of the sprinkle pattern at the bottom that can devastate even the best sword fighters. I'm up to 1 to 4 now. I'm not holding out much hope to hit him there. Just moving into a decent position with the wind. The wind is annoying. Uh, the whirlpools will give me a decent escape as well if necessary. Uh, 
Because you can't hit me on the first turn. Can't hit me on. Because the only way you can get there is going uh, forwards, where my second and third shot is, and then the right will take me away. No shots passed, but. I'm in a safe place, I can just uh, move somewhere. Oh, I do move towards them, oh yeah. Yeah, right, left, left, right. That's unsafe, but left, forward, left, it's alright. I just thought, lower chance of him hitting me. And a 2 to max is still easily done. No shots crossed again. Uh, yeah, I do forward, left, forward. Left forward uh, is the easiest one, but uh, left forward for him uh, is also a move that he could quite easily do. Uh, I did the flick there to try and get him to do four moves. He only ends up doing one. I don't have time to change it. Actually turned out alright because he's just there. As you can see, it's uh, two hits, and then because of the whirlpool, it was actually a safe escape. Very safe escape. And they can right, right, uh, try and shoot them there. Uh, but it didn't happen. I also suspect it would be more likely to go in the whirlpool than out because they do like whirlpools. It's harder to predict their moves in the whirlpool because there's so many more of them. As you can see, I've mostly just chose safe spots. I'm thinking right, right, forward, left. I've mostly just chose safe spots, places where I can't get hit, but they might be. Yeah, Delilah was totally my favourite gunner. Fast, not afraid to swap stations, and also a good hearty. I should, totally should have moved forward, left here, but uh, it's alright. There, I'm thinking left, right, left for them, left, right, left, and then if I move forward, left, I would have just shot them. Let's see what happens. Left, right, and yeah, next turns the grapple. This is a very risky move I do, because quite easily shoot me but I figured it was late enough in the game that they'd do left left to try and grapple I even mentioned it's a risky move it turns out well they uh, go left left grapple <laughs> so it was the best move there was uh, I decided to change that in the end because it'll get me uh, although that was quite bad because if they they could have entered into the whirlpool giving me a bash but uh, they didn't, so it was all good. And this was a sword fight in the end. I'll see what I can say about that. I uh, quite like PvP sword fight. I don't know what this lag was all about. I should have closed some background programs. 
I had none during um, the recording. I built a decent base for me, so I decided to build it. I'm under attack by two people, so I probably should have just played it more safe, but uh, I didn't look, to be honest with you. That was annoying because it just destroyed me having a base there. I should have placed the blue on top of the yellow. That was an inefficient break, but I had had it for too time too long that I knew something bad was about to happen, which it did. So I just broke it off. I'm just getting all the yellows connected up now so I can build down to it. This was quite lucky that those were greens because otherwise I would have been destroyed there. Still an inefficient break, but it'll survive. I think now was when I realised I was getting hit by multiple people. It's down to one person now, but I'm in a very dangerous area. This is when I actually start uh, stalling. But then I stop stalling because that happened. Just uh, bringing it all together with um, with bots. I always try and do really big attacks. I could have easily made that a double, but I didn't notice until I'd already placed it. I noticed it immediately afterwards, as you do. Big attacks because I find they break better. They they're much more effective than constant small attacks. Constant small attacks are good follow-ups to so your big attacks, so you don't have time to break out which is a lot more important in this than in PvP not PvP PvE uh, yeah it's much more important in PvP because they have less time because bots are much bigger at break better at breaking out of big boards because they don't have a board so you can't sprinkle on top so they can only break two or three at a time they can break the entire board at once so you need to kill them when they get high. Anyway, that was my recording. I hope it was useful to anyone, and I'll see you again soon.